In today's video, we will talk about the administrator role in Google Workspace, also known as the admin. We will see the different administrator roles, how to access the admin panel when you have been assigned the admin role, how to assign the admin role to other existing users, and how to create an admin user without having a Google Workspace license. For this, we will see how to add what is called Google Cloud Identity to your subscription. This is a free version. Depending on the type of assigned admin role, the admin user will be able to make changes to your subscription, purchase additional license, create and delete users, reset passwords, create and change group settings, manage the spam filter, modify permissions to access the apps, and many other administrative tasks. The admin role with the highest level of administrative access is called Super Admin. This admin user can create other super admin users. Google Workspace provides predefined set of roles that are ready to be assigned. However, the super admin user can create custom roles and assign specific privileges depending on the need of the business. Let's now jump to our computer and show you how this works. We will now need to access the Google Admin Center. Within our Google account, we need to click on the nine little dots on the upper right corner. And if we have the admin role assigned to our account, we will be able to find the admin icon. We can see it here and click on it. So we will start by assigning a admin role to an existing user. We will need to go to the user section and click on manage. Here we will find all the users that are within our Google Workspace account. For this example, we're going to select this user, Peter Test, we click on it, and the information about this user will be displayed. If we scroll down, we will find the section, Admin Roles and Privileges. We will see here that this user doesn't have any admin roles at this moment. So we need to click on Assign Role. We will find the pre-built admin roles. And the first one that we will see is the super admin. Then we will find group admins, group reader, group editor, user management admin, help desk, service admin, and mobile admin. Google provides detailed information about the privileges that are available for all the previous roles. Here in this Google article, we can see the description for every type of administrator. I will leave a link in the description. Let's now assign the super admin role to this user. We just need to click here and the admin role has been assigned. We scroll down and we click on save. From this moment, this user will be able to find the admin icon within his apps by clicking on the upper right corner within his account. Now, this was an existing user. So if we want to create a new user and assign the admin role, Without a license, we will need to add a service to our Google subscription. This service is called Cloud Identity. To do this, we will need to click on Billing, then click on Get More Services, then click on Cloud Identity, and we will find it here. As we can see, we already have it for this account. If you haven't purchased the service yet, which is free, you will be able to add it to your account. You will need to click on Cloud Identity, then click on Get Starter, Cloud Identity Free, then click on Get Started again, then review your payment plan, it is a free plan, and then you need to click on Checkout. By clicking on Subscription, you will find the service listed under your subscription, Cloud Identity Free. We will now click on Home again and then click on Manage Users, and we are going to create a new user. This new user will not need a Google Workspace license. So we need to click on Add New User. We enter the information for the user. It's going to be Alex, last name test. His username is going to be Alex at askitb.xyz, which is our domain name. And we just click on Add New User. Our new user has been created. We can click on Done. 
the password has been created automatically, then we can copy the password here and we can send it to the user. Then we click on done. If we refresh our page and we will find a new user here, Alex Test. The cloud identity license has been automatically assigned to the user. We can click on the user, we can scroll down and click here to review the license. There is not Google Workspace license assigned, but the cloud identity free license is assigned to the user. We will go back to the user information, we scroll down and we can click on assigned roles under the admin roles and privileges. As we saw before, we are able to assign the admin role here in this section. For this example, we are going to assign the groups admin for this user. We scroll down and click on save. The groups admin role has been assigned to this user. As we have assigned admin roles to users, we are also able to remove the admin roles. We can click again on Peter test and then we find the admin role sections. We click here to expand. As we remember, the super admin role had been assigned to this user. We click on super admin and then we would be able to click here to unassign the admin role. Once unassigned, then we need to save again. As we also mentioned in the introduction, we are able to create customized admin roles. We can click on the little pencil on the right side of the section and then we can click on create custom role. We will see here again the pre-built admin roles and we can create a new one. We can click here, create new role. We can give it a name. We can call it our admin role. We can write a description and we can click on continue. Then here, we will be able to select all the privileges that we want to assign for this admin role. For example, we can click on manage users. We can click on manage contacts and we can click on manage all Gmail settings. Let's say that we are done with this admin role and we can click continue. We can review the privileges that we have assigned to this role. Then we can click on create role. Our new admin role has been created and it is now ready to be assigned to any existing or new user within our Google Workspace account. Click on home. If we click again on manage on the users and select any user, then we can scroll down to assign admin roles, assign roles. At the end of the list, we will find the new admin role that we have created and we can turn it on and of course click save. When you purchase Google Workspace, a first user is created during the process and it has the super admin role. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, please click the like button. If you want to find this video easily again in the future or if you want to see more videos like this one, you only need to click the subscribe button. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.